Hey everyone, it's Ryan here again at LeeBase, and this is part two of the solar ads creation video uh, that I created before. And I promised you guys that I was going to show you how to make ads inside of Canva really quickly that work really well. We use Canva for pretty much every niche we're in, whether it's real estate or legal or life insurance or solar. Uh, we use Canva to build out ads really quickly and plug in our hooks and creatives that we brainstorm using the Brain Hurricane document. Again, if you haven't seen that video, go uh, back and watch my last video where you can write, watch me write solar ads and you can see how I'm going to take now those ad creatives and then apply them into Canva. And I can create like 10 ads in... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start from scratch here and show you how quick it is. It'll probably take me like 10 or 15 minutes to create a bunch of different ads. Um, and with LeadBase, we have templates inside of there that you just have to edit, uh, plug in your state that you're in, tweak a few things uh, in terms of incentives that are available to you. Um, but really Canva is like, it's probably my favorite tool next to lead base, of course, on the internet, because I don't have to use Photoshop. I'm not the best design guy out there, but I can just put together ads super easily. I can even, you can even edit videos in Canva. Pretty amazing. So let's jump on the computer. I'm going to show you how to put together some awesome ads in just a few minutes. All right. So, uh, first off, I'm going to show you how to do this from like absolute scratch. If you wanted to try this out. Um, just by using some of the templates uh, available to you on Canva. So um, let's just say, I mean, we can combine some of these. Um, I chose, in the last video, I chose my top three hooks. Um, a breaking news ad, um, a energy cost rising ad, and then like a kind of, rat, like a kind of different ad, like solar is a scam and trying to play off of people's potential um, hesitations with going with solar because they probably have tons of people trying to sell it to them. Let's start with um, breaking news tax credits. So I'm gonna go into Canva. Cool thing about Canva, I can go breaking news. This is what I do a lot of the time. Okay, so I get all these templates for, you know, things that look like news. Um, this is kind of cool. I like something with a big photo on it. Um, so all I'm gonna do here is obviously change the background. The cool thing is, um, you don't even need to use stock photos because Canva Pro, which is like 15 bucks a month, has these, uh, a lot of stocks footage in here. So I'm going to go solar panel. Okay. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff here. There's videos here too, which is cool. Sometimes I just steal these and run them with ads, like just a simple video for depending on what it is. Um, let's go with these guys. It's not going to work for me very nicely. Is it? Sometimes it should just pop right in there, but it's going to make me do it myself which is fine. So like this. I am going to send it to the back. Ooh. So I got this thing here. Breaking news. Arizona residents. What did we say there? Arizona residents going solar and getting up to 12,003 region. We could do this a few different ways. So I'm, I'd probably spin like three or four ads off of this, depending on uh, the headline, just to test out different creatives. So Arizona residents getting, um, uh, how about this? Tax credits, new tax credits, got to say new, new tax credits, making solar a no free in Arizona. the same thing as a one of the video. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> okay. Boom. I've got that. You can put your logo here or something if you want, but honestly, like something like this along with your ad copy is going to work really great. Uh, I showed you guys some different ad copies last, um, last week, but an example of ad copy for this would be kind of your uh, hook at the start. So it would be this is the first line. I'd probably use Emojipedia. I like to use uh, this little siren guy. By the way, how do you use like the new uh, Lee based swag? I don't think swag is a cool word anymore. Uh, come on. Anyways, I'll get the emoji. Uh, Arizona. Uh, and the best part is I'm not going to mention $0 down here because 
that will put you in a special ad category. So you could add that to this ad here. Again, I'm just showing you guys, this is my thought process. I go in here and I just mix and match a bunch of different stuff. So I would probably do a se second ad that says Arizona residents uh, are flocking to new solar program with that's zero dollars down or no, no upfront cost solar, whatever. Um, the best part is um, you can lower your electricity bill up to whatever, 67%, whatever it might be. Um, so this is really like, this is kind of our headline. It's our hook. And it's like the first line of our ad usually. And then we got to fill in the ad with like, I usually do like four or five sentence ads. Best part is you lower your electricity bill for 60%, but not everyone qualifies to see if you are eligible to click below. I may, might add one more line in here. Um, uh, This is where I would grab the, i just Google search what the, if I can find an article talking about how much electricity is set to rise in that state. Uh, for example, like Ohio is like 30% or something crazy. And then some other states are like 5%. Um, okay, there's an ad, boom. I like it. I'm happy with it. Ad number one. And then what I would do again is I'd have New tax credits making solar a no-brainer in Arizona. Boom. Download PNG. Boom. Okay. And then I'd save that in my account. I would make a copy. And this one's going to be, I can save it to like a uh, folder or something. All right. You have a solar folder. Okay. Solar folder. Boom. Arizona residents are saving... 67% off their energy bill with zero down solar. Okay. Isn't isn't this amazing for people who suck at design? I can drag and drop this thing. Okay. Doesn't look perfect, but you get the idea. Maybe you don't. Um, yeah, let's get that up. Okay. There's a lot of residents are saving 67% off their energy bill with zero down solar. Maybe I'll uh, highlight this um, and do something like that. Kind of. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be like a news thing, so they probably would highlight it, but you get the idea. Here's another ad. Boom, two ads done. Let's try something different. Let's try my famous ugly ad. So, all you do for an ugly ad, <laughs> I have no context, so this is probably not uh, making any sense, but um, custom size, 1080. 1080 and these ads are very simple what i like to do is i throw a background on there i grab some text um like this let's use it's a good one is railway on here no what's so do i oh railway that's my usual one that i use i'm ter i'm just not a design oh railway there it is I'm not a designer but um anyways Here's what I do. I put, I basically just put the hook in this because if you're scrolling Facebook and you see this big red box with some typing in it, um, chances are you're probably gonna read it. And this is kind of similar to when you see those videos with bars above them. That's also something you could do is you can throw a video in between this and have the bars that says like, zero down solar, crazy, whoa, ho like amazing faced. Um, so I would just do this. Arizona, I'm gonna cap all this. Arizona, Arizona resident. Residents are going solar with four hundred dollars down. Something like that, maybe. Too great. Boom! There's an ad, and I know this looks ridiculous, uh, but it works. <laughs> I uh, run these types of ads all the time. It's just because everyone thinks you need this like crazy branded image with all your nice logos and all this information, like. We're just trying to get them to click. We want them to click into our lead form or our landing page and inquire about more information. We don't need to tell them 
everything. We don't need to throw the kitchen sink at them on Facebook. So this is like, if someone's soft, like hmm, Arizona residents are going to for zero dollars down. Ah, I'd like to learn more about that. Like that's what we want them to say. Right. And, uh, I make these as ugly as I can because the uglier, uglier they are, the, the better they tend to work, which is kind of funny. So I might use white there. I might change the background to some weird pink color or something. Um, I might try that. Like you're probably stopping. If you see that, you're like, what is happening? Okay. There's that number two. Um, I could say here again, like, uh, Arizona, new tax credit available to Arizona residents going solar again, mix and match, throw as many freaking things as you can, um, into there to try different hooks. Um, and then also have some templates that I've used. Like here's a news template I've used. Okay. Again, straightforward. We just, we don't know what's going to work. So we got to try as many things as we can. And a lot of times it's just like a really simple, weird ad. Try like this ad. It's like 1350 by 1080 in terms of the size of the ad. Sometimes I'll run a square ad or a tall ad or yellow versus blue. Like all these things make little differences. And all you got to do is start, make 10 ads, um, like throw the flag of the state in. I was going to say, this is a really good one to use. Um, Arizona, throw the flag of the state in or like a little uh, image of the state or something like that. Let's go flag. Arizona is a beautiful state, by the way. Or like their arches, National Park, or is that Utah? I don't know. Those places are both really cool. Okay, so I, something like this, Arizona. And then, okay, so the state flag works well in terms of stopping people from scrolling. So I would definitely run something like this. Um, what else we got here? Here's my thumbnail. Um, good. This is another template I found in here. Actually, if you type in um, solar, last thing I'll show you guys, I don't want the video to be too long because I could talk all day. Um, did I type in solar for that one? Yeah, this one's pretty good actually. I like to, I like to kind of like take stuff off of these though. Cause there's too much going on here. Don't care about the site. That's kind of, that's good. Um, this could be maybe like a testimonial if you have one. What energy source we use in the future? Um, did you know, uh, I'm running out of resident dilips. Might be too long. That's eh, probably fine. I'll go with that. Question mark. And then here could be like uh blob from uh feed This could be a testimony. It could be like um what's an example for this? Bob from Phoenix just saved. Hopefully you can get a testimonial that's legit. Maybe that's too good to be true. I don't sell solar, but oh, not. But the, I think well, you people watching this sell solar, so you know um, that I, I know a lot of these programs are like you are basically getting solar, and the monthly payment's going to be approximately what your kind of energy bill was. Um, so it's, this is probably a little too crazy, but maybe it's like two hundred and twelve, and I didn't pay anything out of pocket, so. I mean, that seems, this might not be the best one. You get the idea. I'm just, I'm just messing around here because this seems like, why would I want to save like $22? But you'd, you'd explain to them in, in the actual pitch that it's like, you're getting solar, it's increasing the value of your home, which by the way, could be another uh, hook here that we could use. And you're increasing the value of your home, you're getting solar, you're, you're creating your energy, you're not dependent on the grid, you can sell your energy back to the grid. And it's going to actually just cost you $20 less, no money out of pocket. Now you don't have electricity bill. Okay. So you've sold more on the phone. So maybe I just have a more basic one here. Like, oh, it was really great to work with whoever, with Ryan, right? Um, you could also just try stock footage as some of your ads because sometimes that works pretty well. Um, that's kind of it for the ads. I hopefully, hopefully that helps. I see a lot of people kind of getting paralyzed when they're running Facebook ads. And my recommendation is just to 
go and like create write five different ad copies and write and create 10 different creatives and plug them into Facebook and just test uh, as much as you can. Um, and so I would take, I'd go add one, oops, and then I'd go add two and I'd write, maybe I'd do something a little bit shorter like that. I probably wouldn't talk about increasing the value of your home in a Facebook ad because it'll get put, put in a special ad category for housing. So you could have um, this kind of like uh, Arizona residents, uh, He's something around like, did you know solar panels increase the price of your home by 4% or whatever like that? Something like that. I don't know if that's the strongest hook, but uh, it's definitely a selling point. Um, so yeah, I would mix and match these. I'd probably talk about like, did you know? Well, I, you could use one of these. AP just announced energy costs that rise by 30% in 2023. Boom, there's two lines of ad, or three more lines, have a call to action, done. I'm gonna stop it there. Appreciate you guys, if you have any questions and or wanna see anything else, um, let me know. Uh, I know a lot of people in life insurance watch these videos too. Obviously this applies to you. I do the exact same thing when I write and create life insurance ads. I go in, I do like breaking news stuff. I do like those ugly ads. I do the, the state flags. Um, it's all pretty straightforward to be honest. So don't get overwhelmed. Um, just go in and test like crazy because that's going to provide you the most success. I'm Ryan. I'm a lead base and I'm out. See you guys.